Okay, here's your uh, crappy Can-Am bushings for your uh, sway bars. You hear that? Those got to be replaced. So as you saw with the sway bar, this thing when I grabbed it was like clunk, 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 clunk. So these bushings got to come out. Uh, took this bushing out, show you how that goes in. That just goes around like that. And that goes over it like that so that's what you see that block and then it bolts through here and there and this is your grease nipple and this is where it becomes interesting because you think that there's got to be a lot of grease in there well you'd be surprised you put the grease in there comes out here there's two holes here and this is tight on the sway bar so in reality there isn't any grease that goes in there. It comes in and it just greases the sway bar a little bit. You'd be better off to take these off and just grease around with your finger every once in a while. That's why these don't hold grease. Same thing goes for these. And if you notice, if you can see through there, this is all one bar. Both sides of the sway bar goes right through. Um, not sure if you could get that apart or not. I'm thinking no. Uh, these are just stops here, but that kind of surprised me too. I didn't realize that they went all the way through. But for those that don't know, that's what it is, one full bar. So I'll take these out. All right, you've seen how the, uh, the top block goes in there. Like I said, it just fits in like that and that's what you see the block and that's it for the grease so bottom ones pin comes out and these are just halves and that's it that's your bushing on one side There's your bushing on the other side. So that is that, and that's the only spot you have that the grease fits in right there. I'll take this one out, and then it'll be ready for the new ones. Got a box in the mail this morning. Garage products, important instructions, coat all surfaces of the bushing and pivot points with a good synthetic grease prior to assembly, press bushings in, pretty straightforward, sway arm, even give you a pen. How do you like that? <laughs> Grant products. Okay, so we'll do a little, a little comparison here. There's the new ones. There's the old ones.
definitely a harder material. Yeah, can't even squish that. I'm gonna squish this no problem. It's even a thicker uh, sleeve. New, old. Big difference in the. Uh, you can squish the right one, you can't squish the left one. Grease holes aren't going to do much. These ones are solid, these ones are hollow. So that's it. That's <laughs> Grads products and Can Am stock. That's the difference right there. been so cold for the last two months it's just crazy grease we got the good old uh, KM synthetic grease here so put that in there so the instructions say to grease inside and outside And it's a good thing because you're not going to get any grease in there afterwards, as I've shown you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, slides on there pretty good actually. So even, now look at this even more, there really only is one grease hole there. I don't know if you can see that. That one's uh, just a pin. So it goes through one hole, so that's even worse. A little demonstration here and see what happens here. That's it. You see that come out? And you're forcing that into a sleeve and a bar that is tight in there so you're not going to get any grease in there so you better put the grease in now and probably the best way to deal with these is take them apart and grease them up every now and then so this is the hardest part putting them together we got a clamp, a C clamp. All right, so in this day and age, I don't have a C clamp. I have these clamps. I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll uh, give her a try. The fender in the way. Yeah, it's going on, look at that, nice. Well, there's your block. Now I'll get that back against that uh, stopper back there. We'll get these ones in. Put these uh, bolts in. Tight against the stop. Those are in. We'll be tightening those bolts up but we'll get the rest of this in. I'm gonna put the one on the other side before I come back to here so it sits level. All right, I'll tell you what, the other side was a lot harder than this side because there's no room. You got the jug sticking out for the tank and harder to get at, but I got it. Now I got the, the bolts holding the other side and I've tapped this into position. The cool thing about these is that I just ordered them last week from the States and we're up in Canada and usually it takes 
two to three work two to three weeks to get across the border up here and uh, they were here in a week so it's pretty amazing okay so what I was saying uh, same thing says on the instructions grease them at assembly with good synthetic grease and maintain them periodically they require little to no lubrication which is good because you're not getting it in there anyways uh, torque the mounting bolts 35 to 40 foot pounds so that on we're going to start on the bottom ones here now I guess the hardest part once you get these in the hardest part is supposedly to get the sleeve in there so we'll see what happens here Might have to get a smaller clamp. The bar goes in pretty easy. I'm a little excited here. See if uh, <laughs> it'll be nice and tight for once. Maybe no clunking. Maybe it'll even stay that way. Okay, bushings are in. Yeah, bolts fit through there nicely. And the lower arm. I'll put that up and that'll drop down through the top because there's a little flange on the bottom. So the bolts aren't tight and the other side's not on yet, but that's that's gonna be awesome. Hopefully no can am clunking now. I'll tighten those up, 35 to 40 foot pounds as they call. I'll get the other side done and then check it out. Garage product bushings installed, tightened up. Solid. Well, hopefully that's the end of the Can-Am clank. Uh, you'll find that pulling the fender out of the way and tying it off is good and you definitely have to have this cover off to get at this all. And obviously the wheel off and then uh, you should have lots, lots of room on this side. The other side's a little tighter but not too bad. Uh, I hope the uh, video was useful to somebody and uh, I'll give a a little review uh, sometime we're gonna do some hard riding this summer so maybe the end of the summer I'll see how they are I'll let you know thanks for watching everybody mm -hmm.